click. Good art invites us, and sometimes makes us, see new things, or see what is familiar in new ways. Virtual art does this within the realm of the virtual world, and uses the possibilities there, doing what it cannot or would be difficult to do in the physical world, and engages the viewer and the virtual space, often as an avatar. While still exploring the formal elements of art in creative and innovative ways, elements such as line, shape, value, form, color, space, and texture, virtual art can also be immersive and interactive. The pieces you see here, which were some of the prize winners in a year-long contest sponsored by the University of Western Australia in a virtual world called Second Life, are all clickable. You click, something happens. inviting you to move within a space or to plunge into a space that moves around you to immerse yourself your point of view to see an experience sometimes when your avatar walks into a space your presence changes what you see and hear sometimes you click and you get a real surprise your visual point of view changes as well as your avatar position and what your avatar is doing. When you click and you affect change, that is having agency in the virtual world. These examples are only one kind of virtual art, along with sculpture, particle art, video or machinima art, installations, and sim-wide environments all of which use tools from the virtual world to create experiences of art beyond those of the actual world. But when virtual art uses the immersive and interactive possibilities of the virtual environment, it not only offers an aesthetic experience, but it can also demonstrate the great potential of virtual worlds. Click.